plan in the midst of the crisis. Most of us, woe is me, and why is this happening to me, and this is so terrible, and God, I don't understand. But in the midst of the fiery furnace, God wants to come through as the fourth man in the fire. When you're there in the waste, barren wilderness, God will reveal himself to you and teach you things that you know not of. God has a plan. So King Asa not only rejected the message, but he rejected the messenger, and he had the prophet Hanani thrown into prison. Stubbornness controlled King Asa's heart, and pride prevented him for, from repentance. But God doesn't give up. God will keep fighting for you to the very last breath you breathe. Such is the grace of God. Such is the love of God. Just like a parent, you'll never give up on your sons. You'll never give up on your daughters. And now this whole host of grandchildren, I mean, they're multiplying like rabbits around here. God will never give up. Listen, you wouldn't give up on your children. Luke 11, 9 through 13. If you then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly father give good things to those that walk uprightly before him? God's love is boundless. It's immeasurable. It's far greater than our love for our own kids.